I take it you're not enjoying yourself. At this point, the headache I'm developing is preferable to the company. Nah, Andy understands. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary? Nothing that stands out. I doubt there's a single person here without ulterior motives. Including us. Who do you think the Inquisition should support? Gaspard's claim to the throne is fair. Orlé needs someone capable of responding to the crisis at hand. A military-minded leader seems the best option. Mm. Do you have any advice? Orlesian social events don't fall within my area of expertise. Right. you here we can trust. Be careful. I got it, we'll Coles. Later. I await your see. See ya, babe. <laughs> it's been too long since I've heard any word from Benoit you. Been too long. So where is Solas and the rest of my? Where is Solas and the rest of my? Hmm. No Solas. Colin, Iron Bull's over there. Sarah's over there. Josephine's over there. Where's Solas? Oh, Solas is over there. Okay, okay. I was about to say. Sheesh. All right, let's go talk to our fellow ginger at the vestibule. What's going on, Red? Good. I was hoping I would catch you. What did the Duke say? He points the finger at Ambassador Briala. The Ambassador is up to something, but she can't be our focus. The best place to strike at Celine is from her side. Empress Celine is fascinated by mysticism, foreseeing the future, speaking with the dead, that sort of rubbish. She has an occult advisor. I an wonder who that could be. She charmed the Empress and key members of the court as if by magic. I've had dealings with her in the past. She is ruthless and capable of anything. How can Celine openly keep an apostate in the Imperial Court? The Imperial Court has always had an official position for a mage. Before now, it was little better than Court Jester. Vivian was the first to turn that appointment into a source of real political power. When the Circles rebelled, technically every mage became an apostate. The word lost much of its strength. Hmm. Okay. You think she's controlling the minds of the Court? That's powerful blood magic. She's worth investigating. Can't be sure of anything here. Both leads point toward the guest wing. It's a promising place to start. I'll coordinate with our spies to see if I can find anything better. I will be in the ballroom if you need me. Fair enough, my dear. Fair enough. Perfect. Let's go talk to Solus now. I do adore the heady blend of power, intrigue, danger, and sex that permeates these events. Do you, Solus? Have you encountered any trouble with the nobles? The Olesians do not quite know what to make of me. I have kept to myself for fear of giving them some purchase to cling to. Our the servant. food and drink are excellent, however. And the servants have been happy to refill my glass. You seem more comfortable with a grand Olesian bull than I'd have expected. I have seen countless such displays in my journeys in the Fae. The powerful have always been the same. Only the costumes change. Have you seen anything useful? No, sadly. I do not have the look of one of the elven servants, or I might well be invisible. I wonder how masked men live their lives without ever seeing that servants have an entire society of their own. If you want to find something useful, I would pay attention to what the servants do. Good. I'll be back. Good advice, sir. Well. Thank you, sir. We don't Thank you, sir. Report on even yet. Give our agents more. So there's definitely something going on with them elves. Does anyone really think the war will end tonight? The Empress does. Gaspar is wasting his time. Nothing he does could win over the Council of Heralds now. He should have considered that before threatening to burn them all in their homes. Hmm. No idea. <laughs> nice. Five scandalous secrets. All right.
Wait, was that? There we go. Caprice coin. Duke Germain. Well, well, the Inquisitor. Here as a guest of my nephew, no less. I'm curious. I didn't know the Grand Duke was your nephew. He's my brother's eldest boy. Always a difficult child, Gaspar. Never listened, never did what he was told. He was raised a prince. All his life we told him he would be emperor. It was his destiny, his duty. What else should he do with his life if not fight for his destiny? I'm done with you. Have a good evening. Another time, my lord. He knows not to press too much from, from him. Hey! Hey! How are you, babe? You got anything that needs killing? Because the nobles keep messing with me and they think I don't know they're doing it. This keeps up. I'm gonna wear somebody's skull as my fancy little mask. Nice. Care to dance? Any interest in a dance? <laughs> oh, shit. The nobles would love that. Can you imagine Josephine's face trying to explain that we were... Mm. Wait, were you serious? Because if so, then... Yeah, absolutely. I mean, once we stop the assassins and all that. Oh, you are so sweet, honey. What do you think of the masks the nobles are wearing? They're no good as disguises, and they don't cover the mouth or hide body language. So they're not much help for lying. As fashion goes, I don't know. I've seen dumber. Anything catching your eye? They've got these candied nuts with some <laughs> kind of spice on them. It's sweet until you swallow, and then, bam, hot. Sounds uh, kind of good to me. Nothing on the assassin. Mm. Look at this with the eyes of a Ben Hasrath and tell me what you see. It's a mess. Everyone's trying so hard to hide that they're walking around in plumage. Makes it tough to spot the dangerous lies, as opposed to the normal stuff. Fair oh, enough. With that couple over there with the silver masks, the woman's doing one of the nobles, and the guy's <laughs> doing two different servants. Talk to you Good later. Good to know. I'll just stay here and eat. Yes, you just stay there and do what you do best. Nice. Well, well. What's this? Curious, sir, and curious, sir. The kitchen staff stuff, right. Bro, we need immediate support down here. Something's gone wrong. Oh, hello. You. Philippe hello. turned hours ago, dallying with some serving girl while I deal with Gaspar's vitriol. Ugh, Philippe is a jack. Awfully selfish of this Philippe, running off to play and leaving you with all the work. I have a mind to inform the Dowager. That would teach him to shirk his duties to roll some elven maid. The night of all nights, leaving me to convey Gaspar's death threats to the council. Wonderful timing, Philippe. Thank you for listening. Nice. You are too kind, Inquisitor. And he's so good at this. 60 approval. Nice. Nice. Oh. Hello. My lord. My lord Inquisitor. May we have a word? It is very important. Sure, why the not? The Empress has sent us with a message for you. How can I be certain this message is from the Empress? We three wear the masks of House Valmont. They signify that we are public faces of the Empress. They are also extremely fashionable. Hmm. What's the message? <laughs> this is so exciting! Empress Celine is eager to assist the Herald of Andraste in his holy endeavor. She will pledge her full support to the Inquisition as soon as the usurper Gaspar is defeated. Hmm. That's not quite good enough. I need an alliance, not a conditional promise. Her Majesty believes in the Inquisition. She is determined to show her support. And she will do so. She is Andraste's <laughs> faithful servant. She will outmaneuver Gaspar. There can be no doubt. But we have taken enough of your time. Please, enjoy the masquerade, Inquisitor. Thank you, ladies.
You must be mistaken. No, I'm quite certain it was blood on the tiles. If they're playing the game, they're not doing it very well. You don't leave evidence if you play to win. With Gaspard and that elf woman here, the only one playing to win is Celine. Nice, lots of secrets. You only say that because you fancy the Empress's pet upper state. It sickens me to think of the chaos those Maleficarum are causing across the Empire. Even you cannot deny that the Templars abandoned the faithful in their darkest hour. How can you condone that? They are the ones who should be brought to heel, if you ask me. Oh, more stuff. Nice. Did you need something? I favor leashing Templars too. I agree about stopping mages. I didn't mean to intrude. Hmm, not really sure. Um... What would, what would make sense for him to say? Um, Andy is still a little worry about mages, but I mean, this doesn't necessarily mean that he's he means what he says. But for the for the sake of saying something, um, for the sake of saying something, I mean, technically they did leash the Templars, right? Because they did he did end up. Forcing them to serve them, so... Did I hear correctly? If you're interested in bringing the Templars to heal, you may have found an ally. Didn't you recruit them for the rank and file of your Inquisition? Someone had to remind them, sternly, of their duty. A sensible solution. I will get in touch with your Lady Nightingale. I have assets that might benefit your cause. Gentlemen. Agents acquired. Interesting. I just got an agent. We will be in touch, Inquisitor. Interesting. I got an agent from that. Okay, so if I remember correctly, this is the part where I have to be like Speedy Gonzalez. Alright. Must get this open. Up negotiations. Enforce this. Oh my goodness, gasp! Look at all these bodies, gasp! You know, Andy's like, hmm, there's something really weird going on here, but we're gonna get to the bottom of it later. I'll assess it later. There might be something here. Better take a closer look. You already grabbed it, Andy. What else is... Oh look! I had no idea that was there! <laughs> Board approval... It's going down... Oh boy. That's the bell. I should get back to the board. The bells are ringing. But I've got... I've got a secret to find. Got a secret to find. Whoa. Whoa. Thank you. Ooh, confusion grenade. I'll take that. And this belt of range defense and masterwork staff blade. Schematic and a ooh, reinforced scout scout coat. I might need that. That was the second bell. Fashionably late now. All right. I don't think I have time. There's a bunch of things here, but I'm just gonna yeah. I'm gonna come back later. There's way too many. Got to get to the ballroom. Whew. Because I still have 70 court approval. And by golly, I want to keep it. 
made it. Well, well. What have we here? Hmm? The leader of the new Inquisition, fabled herald of the faith. Delivered from the grasp of the Fade by the hand of blessed Andraste herself. What could bring such an exalted creature here to the Imperial Court, I wonder? Do even you know? Um... It's a mystery. We may never know. Courtly intrigues and all that. <laughs> nice, smooth, Such Andy. intrigues obscure much, but not all. I am Morrigan. Some call me advisor to Empress Selene on matters of the Arcane. You have been very busy this evening, hunting in every dark corner of the palace. Perhaps you and I hunt the same prey. Perhaps... You've been watching me. I didn't realize I was watched so closely. All eyes are upon you, Inquisitor. Indeed, you distract from more important matters. Such as? Such as the unwelcome guest I recently found and killed within these very halls. An agent of Tevinter. So I offer you this, Inquisitor. A key found on the Tevinter's body. Where it leads, I cannot say. Yet, if Selene is in danger, I cannot leave her side long enough to search. You can. Hmm. Why did you kill the agent? He might have had useful information. I would not have slain the man on sight had he not attacked me first. Why? Undoubtedly, I caught him in an illicit act. I did not know from whence he came until after the battle, and regret only that I could not capture him alive. What intentions the Imperium has here, I suspect you know far better than I. You left Selene alone. Is that wise? I must return to her anon, but she is safe enough. For the moment. For the moment. Would be a great fool who strikes at her in public in front of all her court and the Imperial Guard. Hmm. What's your interest in protecting Empress Selene? Are you her bodyguard? <laughs> Do I seem a bodyguard to you? If anything were to hey, happen barrier. to Selene, I mean... eyes would turn first to her occult advisor, even if they knew otherwise. There are sharks in the water, and I will not fall prey to them. Not now, not ever. Hmm. Briala's people are whispering about disappearances in the servants' quarters. This key may lead there. The ambassador does have eyes and ears everywhere, does she not? Proceed with caution, Inquisitor. Enemies abound, and not all of them aligned with Tevinter. What comes next will be most exciting. Perfect. Greet the Empress, ladies in waiting, with Empress and Umbrella. We're gonna do that later. Hey, Dowager. Lord Inquisitor. Have you noticed anything odd this evening? Too few Imperial Guards stand in attendance, my dear. For shame. Mm -hmm. They're so pleasantly decorative. I'd like your opinion of this gathering, my lady. It's doomed to fail, of course. Selene knows that. Mm. Oh, at least it should be amusing. We haven't had such a menagerie at court in living memory. Would you care to dance, Lady Mantillon? You, Inquisitor, are a delight. Aw, shucks. does not often find foreigners so well-versed in the game. That's our Andy. But you have other dances to perform first, perhaps... You will save me your dance for later. All right. Good evening, my lady. Dance with the art dance with the Alamade operation available. Perfect. Mistress Nightingale, what a pleasure to see you again. You look radiant. <laughs> Marquis, it's been far too long. How's your family in Val -Chavin? No complaints, my dear, no complaints. You must come to the chateau to see the girls. They will be overjoyed. Oh, I've missed them very much. Little Sylvie must be ten now, no? Eleven. 
and already up to my elbow. Oh, are they grown? Perhaps I shall call on you soon. Excellent. Now I must dance with the Dowager. It was lovely to see you, my dear. <laughs> Look at Lady Cambion's slippers. Trimmed with pearls and emeralds and those buckles. Toss her into the lake and she'll sink right to the bottom. What a disaster. Actually, Andy's not going to say this because he appreciates, he can appreciate good shoes too. You're different here than in Skyhold. More approachable, perhaps? This is Halam Sheral, Inquisitor. This is the Imperial Court. This is the beating heart of the great game. Of course, everyone is wearing a mask. I learned this very young. I was still a girl when I attended my first ball. All this, the smiles, Mm -hmm. Small talk. It is a dance, and like any dance, it can be learned. For some of us, it has become so familiar that the steps may be performed in our sleep. Hmm. Who do you think the Inquisition should support? What we need most of all is a stable Ole. Either Celine or Gaspard can give us that. You spoke of Lady Cambienne's shoes earlier. Shouldn't you be focused on other things? Everyone needs a hobby. Besides, you can learn a great deal about a person from their clothing. Gold and jewels on a dancing slipper. A slipper is easily lost and finds itself in the dust and dirt. She is unconcerned with the possibility of losing the shoe or soiling it. A vulgar display of wealth. Fair enough. But Lady Cambien's family has recently lost most of its holdings. They have their title, but little else. So, how did Cambian acquire such a grand shoe, hmm? What has she done? Who has she bedded? These are all useful questions, no? I learn from the best. Learn from the best, my fellow ginger friend. I found this out. I'm not sure of its value. Very interesting. It may not help our investigation, but we can put it to use. A little more dirt like this, and we might have some leverage in the court. If you find more, let me know. I will do that. I should go. Be on your guard. I always am. Nice. Inquisitor, is there something you needed? Nah, I'm good. I'm good, Carlos. We'll talk later. I await your seat. All right. Enter the servants' quarters. Why would the Empress invite that elf woman in the middle of this crap? What fully qualified arsehole stops to kill a cook? Hmm. Must be the elves Briala's people are looking for. Whoever did this ought to be down here somewhere. Ooh, there's a hollow statue up there. Okay, you know what? Get up there from these barrels. Meanwhile, time is running out. Hollow statue. Nice. Not too bad. Not too bad. All these bodies. Wow, my approval is a hundred. Got to be Sheesh. something here. Got the statue. Oh, that's right. This was no servant. What was he doing here? This guy's way too fancy to belong down here. What's his story? That would appear to be Grand Duke Gaspard's insignia on the dagger. How curious. I'm to have a word with the Duke. <laughs> Oh yes, this part. Let's have some fun, boys. Venatory agents! That must be the Venatory leader. Alright, Flask of Lightning. Yeah. Good job, Andy. I 
this too, Andy. Fancy meeting you here. Inquisitor Kadash. What an historic moment. The first Carter thug in all Thedas invited to court. We haven't been properly introduced, have we? I'm Ambassador Briala. Nice shot. I'll say nice shot. Impressive shot, Ambassador. Welcome to the Imperial Court, friend. This is our diplomacy at work. You clean this place out. Will take a month to get all the Tevinter blood off the marble. I came down to save or avenge my missing people. But you've beaten me to it. So, the Council of Errol's emissary in the courtyard. That's not your work, is it? Hmm. What if it was? If I did kill him, what would you do? <laughs> well, I wouldn't believe you for one. Oh, really? I have arrived with the Grand Duke. But you don't seem to be doing his dirty work. I knew he was smuggling his chevaliers, but killing a council emissary, bringing Tevinter assassins into the palace, those are desperate acts. Gaspar must be planning to strike tonight. Hmm. Are you sure he's behind this? He was too easy going for a man plotting treason. Don't let his charm blind you. He's Olesian. That smile is his mask. I misjudged you, Inquisitor. You might just be an ally worth having. What could you do with an army of elven spies at your disposal? You should think about it. 